Good morning. Yes, hello Americans, hello people around the world, hello everyone. Reminds me of Paul Harvey on Fridays. Yes, it's Friday, hello. Okay, okay, this is about Democrats. Okay, the purge of the Democratic Party has begun. It hasn't been won, it's begun. We're pushing the centrists and pushing the conservatives and the moderates out of the party. We have to do that. We have to continue on with this. A lot of them won this time. So remember this when we do this again, that we need to continue to get progressives elected. The LGBTQ community made major inroads this time. That's wonderful. And they're all pretty much progressives. That's wonderful. That's what we want. We want progressives. We want the moderates and the conservative and the corporate Democrats out. And we can do that in this party. We don't need a third party. Third party is a waste. I came from the best third party there is, the Green Party. The Green Party has the best agenda because it puts the environment and the people first. Okay, that's why I was in that party. Unfortunately, it never caught on because people are complacent. They're in denial about the environment. Oh yeah, they'll cite it as a great problem. It is the number one, number one issue, way above health care, way above infrastructure, way above everything else. If we can fix our climate change, it will take care of a lot of health care. It will definitely take care of the infrastructure because we have to build new infrastructure to be renewable energies. And yes, those renewable energies do have a fossil fuel cost. However, we can minimize that. There are many ways to do it. And we need to suck the carbon out of the atmosphere, put it back in the ground where it belongs. So these are the really top issues. If we place climate first instead of last in the four-point agenda, like the Democrats did, we can win. We can take these GOP criminals out once and for all. And we do need to take them out. Here's another thing, all this apologism and this move towards Pelosi bipartisanship, it's fucking bullshit. We don't need that. Pelosi, you don't need to be the goddamn Speaker of the House. We don't need you. This crossing the aisle stuff is bullshit. It creates compromise, which is going to kill us. That's right. It's going to kill us unless we do something about the number one issue. We are fucking dead. So, we have to also have to remember that this was just really a first step. We have to continue on with everything we've been doing and intensify it and hold steady because the next two years, people are going to get all pissed off They're, because stuff's not going to get done. We're going to have lame duck shit going on. So, we've got to stop all this right now. We've got to stop it. So, and we got to keep going. We've just got to keep going and keep going until we can finally take control of the Senate. When we take control of the Senate and we get that orange bastard out of the White House, then we might be able to fix this. We don't have much time. We have less time than we thought. Ten years is probably an overestimate of how much time we have left. So let's get started. Let's keep going. Let's not give up. It's long game.